Hi boys and girls. I have a book to read to you today that I know you are going to love. You actually might know of this author. He has written a bunch of very famous children's series. He wrote the Elephant and Piggy series and the Don't Let the Pigeon series, like the Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. He also wrote the Nuffle Bunny series. So this book is called Nuffle Bunny and who do you think Nuffle Bunny is? Snuffle Bunny right there. And it says, A Cautionary Tale by Mo Willems. So cautionary means it's kind of telling us to avoid something, to be careful not to do something. So let's find out what happens in this book. And there's something else so special about this book. It actually has this very special medal right here called the Caldecott, Caldecott Honor Book Medal. And that means that it got the award for some of the very best pictures the whole year it came out. So the illustrations in this book are wonderful. All right, and something very cool about the illustrations in this book, and you can even kind of tell on the front, is that they used real pictures of the city in the background, but then they drew on the characters. That's what the author did, or the illustrator and the author, because Mo Willems, it looks like he wrote the book and he drew the pictures because I don't see another illustrator named on the front cover. All right. Nuffle Bunny. Ooh, I wonder where Nuffle Bunny is in this picture. I think we're going to find out. Nuffle Bunny by Mo Willems. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. So an errand means they went out to do something together. And now do you see how I mean there are pictures of the city? So this is like a real apartment in the city. And there are the characters and they're drawn in. So there's Trixie's mom and her daddy. And there's Trixie and Nuffle Bunny. She went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block through the park. I wonder where they're going. Past the school and into the laundromat. So where are they headed? They're headed to the laundromat. And if you don't know what that is, that's a place where you can wash your clothes or your bedding or your towels. It's a place where they have a washer and dryer, lots of them that people can come in and use if they don't have one at home. So they're headed to the laundromat to wash their stuff and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. So it looks like she's helping him. It doesn't really look like help to me, but it looks like she's having fun. And he's smiling, so I don't think he's upset. She even got to put the money into the machine. Can you put it right in the machine? And then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Look at her face, friends. Can you make a face like that? She realized something. Do you think it's something bad or something good? I think it's something bad. Look at her face. She realized something. <gasps> Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, clabble. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. I wonder what she could be trying to say to him. I wonder if you friends haven't figured out. said Trixie again. Flaggle, plabble, wumpy, flappy, snurp. She's trying to tell him something so important. Now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. What does that mean? She went, wah, and she went boneless. Like there were no bones in her body. She just went boneless. Can you go boneless? She's very upset. I wonder why. 
She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? <gasps> I wonder who had that figured out already. Where is Nuffle Bunny? Where did they leave Nuffle Bunny? The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park where are they going? And they ran, I bet, past the school and into the laundromat. Into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked and looked for Nuffle Bunny. And he looked, can you look like him? And he looked and he looked. But Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Make a face just like Trixie now. She's so sad. Like if you lost your very favorite toy, like what would your face look like? So Trixie's daddy decided to look even harder until Nuffle Bunny! Look, he found Nuffle Bunny. And Trixie is so happy. And those were the first words Trixie ever said. <laughs> the end. So Trixie was a little baby and the first words she ever said were Nuffle Bunny because she loves her Nuffle Bunny. Do you friends have a stuffed animal that you really love? What was your very favorite part about this book? I hope that you liked it as much as I do. All right, you guys, have a great afternoon. Bye.